Let's try to understand how to resolve force into its components. This example will help us to understand it. A lawnmower is pushed with a force of 90 newtons directed along the handle, which makes an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of the force. Describe the physical consequences of each component of pushing force. So we can resolve this force into horizontal and vertical components. For that, let's try to make a Cartesian plane and then see how it looks like. Now when we say that the lawnmower is pushed with a force of 90 Newton directed along the handle, which makes an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. That means, let's say horizontal axis represents the ground then the force is making angle of 30 degrees with the ground. That means this angle is 30 degrees. And that is the direction of the force. And in this case, the force is 90 newtons. Now this force can be resolved along the x and y components. Now how? The x component will be parallel to horizontal axis, so we'll say this is the x component and that is the y component. So you can form a triangle, a right triangle, so you say, and then you can label these forces. Let's say this is the force which we are saying F. Then the x component could be written as F of x and the y component as Fy. The subscript x gives the direction along the x-axis. The subscript y here gives direction along the y-axis. So that is a good nomenclature to use most of the time. Well, this is making a triangle to form components of forces. As you can see, this is a right triangle. So we are trying to write this force as its rectangular components. Now the alternate way of doing the same thing is to make a parallelogram, rather a rectangle in this case. So in that case, the x component and the y components will start from the tail of the force. So you can have a component which is f of x along the horizontal and f of y along the vertical y-axis. The effect is same. When you complete your parallelogram, then the force of 90 newtons will be the diagonal of the parallelogram. So either of the two approaches can be applied in solving such problems. So either you make a parallelogram, and as you know, when we did addition of forces, rather addition of vectors, or vet so when we did vector algebra, then we did to make a parallelogram, their tails have to be put together. And to form a triangle, we need to put the tail on the head to complete the triangle. So you can adopt any of these approaches. So that is components of forces or resolving a force into its components. Right. Now the second part is determine the horizontal and vertical components, the calculations to do so that we get the magnitude, we know the direction already, the direction is along the x-axis for fx and along the y-axis negative for fy. Now to get the magnitude of these forces, we can apply trigonometric ratios. Now this is a right triangle, therefore f of x is the adjacent side of our triangle with hypotenuse of 90 newtons in this case. So when adjacent and hypotenuse is given to us, we can use cosine of the angle, right? So we have cos of 30 degrees, in this case, is equal to the magnitude of force along the x-axis divided by the resultant force, which is 90 newtons. And from here, we can find what f of force in x-direction is, fx is. So fx is equals to 90 degrees cos of 30 degrees. 
So fx is 90 times cos of 30 degrees. Now you can always use your calculator and get the answer. So it is 45 square root 3 or you can write approximately 78. 78 newtons. Now let's look into the vertical component. Now the vertical component is pointing downwards, right? Remember that when you write down resolution of forces. Now here it is opposite to 30 degrees and therefore we can write sine of 30 degrees as the magnitude of vertical component which is Fy over the hypotenuse which is 90. So Fy is equal to the magnitude of Fy, I should write magnitude of these components is 90 times sine 30 degrees. And calculating with the calculator we get 90 sine of 30 degrees gives us 45. So you get 45 newtons, right? So the force along y-axis towards the ground is 45 newtons and force horizontally along the ground is 78 newtons. We can write now the force of 90 newtons. Let us say it is represented by F. So the force F, which is along 30 degrees, could now be written as sum of these components. So when you write this, make a note that X component is along the positive direction and therefore it should be written as 78I that is along the positive direction and the Y component is in the negative direction so it should be written as minus 45J. So that is writing in the rectangular component forms. Now that is another way of representing it. But the question was only to find, determine horizontal and vertical components of the forces. So we can say horizontal component is 78 newtons along the x-axis. Vertical component is acting downwards, 45 newtons. So we can write downwards. Now, the last part of this question is, describe the physical consequences of each component of pushing forces. Now, the horizontal component of the force helps to drive the lawn mower horizontally along the ground, pushes it forward across the grass. And the vertical component actually adds to the weight of the mower. So it acts downwards in the same direction as the force of gravity. So, so that is the physical consequence of each component. So we'll do a couple of more questions based on resolving forces into its components and see how we can apply the knowledge learned in vectors to solve such problems. Thank you.